Well, until today, many people hadn't heard of him. A Chicago man is now considered the bigger deal in the Russia investigation, George Papadopoulos. The feds call him a proactive cooperator. CBS 2's Audrina Begas found out more about him. This 30-year-old former campaign aide to President Donald Trump, a member of his foreign policy team, is a Chicago North Sider. I see him once in a while carrying things from the car. John Bean lives across the street from George Papadopoulos' home in Chicago's Lincoln Square neighborhood. Papadopoulos graduated from DePaul University in 2009. Before that, Niles West High School in 2005. He went on to study overseas, then worked for several campaigns before President Donald Trump's. This individual was the member of a volunteer advisory council that met one time over the course of a year. But he's seen here with then candidate Trump at a foreign policy meeting in March 2016. Uh, George Papadopoulos, uh, he's an oil and energy consultant, excellent guy. He asked to do things he was basically pushed back or not responded to in any way. But Papadopoulos's plea agreement state quite the opposite. A Trump campaign supervisor told him, I would encourage you to pursue contact with Russians and that he had done great work. Court documents show Papadopoulos attempted to set up a meeting with then-candidate Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin. The document says he spoke to an overseas professor about Russian dirt on Hillary Clinton. Then he admitted to telling the FBI lies about both. People don't realize it's a federal crime to lie to the FBI. It carries up to five years in the federal penitentiary. Maybe he wanted to be a bigger part of the Trump campaign and was trying to get a bigger role by inflating things. Papadopoulos pled guilty to making false statements to FBI agents. He won't be sentenced, though, until the special counsel's investigation is over. Rob and Erica. All right. Audrina, thank you.